Ah, Adventure Island, the beginning. One of the few games, of course, that was critically acclaimed for being, well, oh, it's 3D. To hell with that game. Which, of course, a lot of Hudson Soft fans and also exclusively Adventure Island fans complained about. The graphics weren't that bad. They were like an N64 graphics, so take a coke and a smile and shut the F up. You know, just be grateful that at least they released another game released under the name Adventure Island under any platform whatsoever. This game, of course, features classic gameplay from Adventure Island 1, 2, and 3, when I visually looked at it. It has an RPG system, of course, where you can power up all your weapons and make yourself uber elite. There's different abilities like double jump and all that as well. That's stuff you have to discover for yourself, obviously, because I don't want to ruin all of it. There's about four stages and four sub-stages to these, these themes. Of course, that being a mountain, castle, uh, some trees and hills, and of course, you guessed it, a snow level. Slippery, slidey, freaking caves that annoyed me to all ends of hell. Above all else, the game was not that bad, other than the fact that it did be kind of tiresome after a while of going through each four of the themes and sitting there going, that was it. Because of the shortness, it kind of drew me back. But then I looked back again and seen that I unlocked some mini stages and went, <laughs> and went back into for some more. One of my favorites, of course, though, was the area where you have to rapidly press down the button, which of course I thought that was quite enjoyable and fun. Above all else, the rest of the mini games I didn't really care for. You do collect these meats. You probably wonder what the hell are these meats for? They give you a one up. And everyone knows you like one ups. Anywho, the game, of course, though, does grind after a while after you collecting all the fruits and all the enemies and getting to the goal. After you doing that, the game very much loses its appeal to me. But it was still a pretty much classic game to my opinion. Though not scored critically high by a lot of fans due to the fact people are just ungrateful nowadays for everything any company does nowadays for anything. So that way, you have kids who whine about good first-person shooter graphics in a Hudson Soft game. Can you picture that, guys? Call of Duty, a world at New Venture Island. Can you picture that? I can't, because kids aren't freaking grateful and expect one generic freaking thing after another. Let's take another World War II movie and game! No. Other than that, guys, pick the Wii points because it's, well, very, very well placed together. I thought the game was decent, not perfect, but decently good. Though it has a lot of challenge and also has unlockable harder difficulty. And also lets you have some RPG elements as you run through each stage. And also an autosave feature each time you clear a stage is quite nice and refreshing. So that way you don't have to worry about going back to all the way to the beginning of the stages like stage 1 slash 1. In this case you have a full variety of collecting golden m melons. And of course getting these cool little unlockables. You could change your costumes and also have new abilities. What's not to love about this game? So pick it up today because it is worth your wee 